The first self-playing piano system was invented around 1895. It sat in front of a regular piano, and the machine's wooden fingers would play the keys. Guiding those fingers was a roll of perforated paper. By the early 20th century, piano companies incorporated the roll mechanism right into the piano itself. The player piano rage petered out around 1930, but there are still plenty of old player pianos around, so there remains a market for the music roles they play. The original roll making method used a recording piano. As the musician played, each key would trigger a pneumatic valve, which pressed a corresponding rod against piano roll paper over carbon paper. Then they just perforate the carbon marks. The modern method uses an electronic keyboard and a computer. As the musician plays, the computer converts the notes to data. The musician edits the data, then loads it into a computer that's hooked up to the roll perforator, a machine that produces 18 rolls simultaneously. Like the old recording machine, the roll perforator has a pneumatic valve for each note of the piano keyboard. As the computer activates each note, the corresponding valve triggers a steel punch to descend and pierce a hole in the passing paper. The longer the hole, the longer the note. Most music consists of multi-note chords, so the machine vibrates like crazy, punching many notes simultaneously. When the machine finishes perforating, the operator cuts off the paper and sticks on a temporary label bearing the song title. The paper then moves on to another area, where they permanently stamp on the title and other information. Here they slice the front end of the paper into a point. Meanwhile, this machine rivets brass eyelets onto an adhesive-backed polyethylene strip. Then around each eyelet, a die stamps out a tab. They stick one eyelet tab to the pointed tip of each roll. This tab end, as it's called, hooks into the mechanism of the player piano. A touch of cornstarch over any exposed adhesive prevents the papers from sticking to one another. When the music has lyrics, they print the words right on the rolls, so you can sing along as the piano plays. The first step is to make a lyric stencil, which requires cranking out each word letter by letter. The placement of words on the stencil is tricky because they have to synchronize with the notes. The stencil goes into a printer, which applies the lyrics with an ink roller. The last step is to roll up the rolls. They wind each one around a cardboard spool that has a plastic flange on each end. When you load a roll into the piano, you mount its flanges on holders then hook the tab end to a spool that pulls the roll through the player mechanism. A rubber band to keep the roll from unraveling, then it's into a custom box. A machine shapes and hot glues sheets of ornately printed cardboard into the box tops. The finishing touch is a sticker with the title of the music. When a roll moves through a player piano, air flows through the perforations, triggering the corresponding pneumatic valves. Each valve pushes down the corresponding note. This factory produces more than 4,500 different song titles on player piano rolls, from classical favorites to top 10 hits.